I don't remember what the number was, but when uh, Toyota re uh, producer Mac, you may know this one when they redeveloped the Corolla chassis in the late nineties or early two thousands, wasn't it something crazy? Like they put in a hundred million dollars to redevelop the, the, the new platform of the, what we know is the Corolla. But in Japan, you got to remember in a lot of Asia, the Corolla was four different chassis here. We just got the same looking car, a mm-hmm. hundred million dollars. That's nuts to develop the chassis they would use for the next 15, 16 years of a Corolla. I know when I went into, when I had to learn a lot about all sorts of cars when I was in car sales, um, I found out some ridiculous stat that like Toyota invest seven times more than every other manufacturer into research and development. Like oh they are God. the the heaviest influence in terms of, you know, by creating the best quality product. And I know that was really demonstrated when they partnered on the Supra and the Z4. And that deal almost fell through a couple times to my understanding because Toyota would go get BMW to stress test the parts that BMW manufactured and they would fail every Toyota. Yes. Yeah. They would fail every Toyota. Just because you said that. And this is something I'd learned from producer Mac because I used to race uh, beater Corollas when they, and all you uh, AG engine, uh, lovers whether it's the 3ag 4ag doesn't matter trd and the toyota division for engine building Mm -hmm. used to stress test their 112 what was it 112 horse in the 4ag that little the the original twin cam fuel injected the north american one had 112 horse do you want to know what they did to get that engine ready for we approve it for regular road use Mm -hmm. what they do is they would set it up on the dyno Mm -hmm. They would run it for half an hour at like 3,000 revs, turn it off, let it cool down, change the oil, check for any type of flaking, metal flakes, bad oil, whatever. Mm -hmm. Fill it back up with oil, sit it at 4,500 revs for another half an hour with no cooling, drain the oil, check again. They did this four or five more times and then upped the red line to a level that was higher than what they sold the car for and drove it for another... uh, uh, ran it for another half an hour. That's insane. If it survived without <laughs> cooling. <laughs> That's crazy. They decided that engine was good enough for you to use in your road car. Wow. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. But th- but this goes exactly what he's saying. Toyota mm-hmm. has the highest level of R&D. So when people mm-hmm. will used to come to me like, oh no, Honda's the best for racing, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, Honda makes great cars, mm-hmm. but I'd rather have something so overbuilt 